Hello, my name is Mark Malone and I'm the Chemical Brand Director at CRP. Today I'm here to pass along a tip on transfer cases. Did you know that premature failure of transfer cases often have nothing to do with the fluid but is caused by something outside of the transfer case itself? I'll tell you what it is and how to avoid the problem in this installment of Inside the Brands. Transfer cases are used in part-time and full-time four-wheel vehicles to transfer power from transmission to the front and rear axles. We've been hearing from our Innovation Council members that they are seeing a higher level of transfer case issues in all-wheel drive cars like the BMW xDrive models. Keep in mind that one of the primary jobs of transfer case is to balance the RPMs between the front and rear drive shafts. Additionally, these transfer cases only hold about one liter of fluid. A challenge with the transfer case that we hear of from time to time is that car owners are replacing only one set of tires at a time. This causes disparity in RPMs between the front and rear drive shafts due to a difference in tire radius. The transfer case compensates for this by working overtime and essentially cooking the transfer case fluid. With no gear oil, the transfer case becomes damaged. To prevent this from happening and potentially costing the car owner an expensive repair, we recommend the following. Number one, always advise owners to change tires in an all-wheel drive car in sets of four, not two. Number two, check the transfer case fluid each time the vehicle is in for service and top off if needed. And finally, number three, service the transfer case and change the fluid regularly. If you're looking for a transfer case fluid with a BMW approval, the Rhine brand TF0870 is a smart option. It also meets specifications for selected Porsche applications as well. I hope this video helps you steer customers clear of premature transfer case failure. If you have any questions about this topic or any of the CRP Inside the Brand videos, feel free to post it below or on the CRP Automotive Facebook page. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be among the first to get helpful tips like this one. Thank you for watching.